Number six. What is the height in meters of a person who is six foot one inch tall? And it says assume that one meter equals 39.37 inches. Okay, so they give us a uh, conversion value uh, for meters to inches. Okay, so that means that if I can find out the total amount of inches, I can simply use this conversion factor to find out the meters. So let's write down what we're given. So six foot, one inch person, and somehow we have to convert this into meters. And we know that if we can find the total number of inches, we can then convert that into meters uh, because it gave us, right, the conversion factor in the problem. Okay, so now the question is, well, how do I find the total number of inches? And that would be found simply by taking the one inch that was given already and then taking the six foot value, right? And then adding that, so first converting the six feet into inches and then adding it to the inch value already. So I'll add a little plus sign, right? So this is essentially the first step. We'll convert it into inches, right? Then we're gonna add them together. So that would be the second step. And then the third step would be simply converting the inches into meters. So let's do it. So step one. Six feet, let's convert that into inches. So I'll write down what I'm given, six feet. Feet go on the bottom so the units cancel. Inches on the top. The relationship between the two is that there are 12 inches in one foot. So what we have to do here is we have to take six and multiply it by 12, straightforward, 72 inches. So that's the answer to the first part. Now for the second step, I'm gonna be looking to take those inches that I just found, 72 inches, and then add one inch to it so I can find the total height of the individual in inches. So that would just be simply 73 inches. And now the third step is to take the 73 inches, the person's total height in inches that is, and convert it into meters. So let's write down what we're given, 73 inches, Inches will go on the bottom, meters will go on the top, and now I need to know the relationship. So we look back in the problem and uh, we know that one meter is equal to 39.37 inches. The inches cancel, so this basically works out to be a division. So let's plug that into the calculator. 73 divided by 39.37. And that works out to be approximately, and I'm gonna round slightly, 1.85 meters. That's the final answer. If this video helps you out at all, guys, please subscribe. Thank you.